Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna do a test of the original 3060, the V1, the nerfed 3060 versus the LHR or version two 3060 on some popular algorithms. So what I have here is I have an EVGA 3060. This is the original run of the 3060. So the version one or the otherwise known as the nerfed card. And I have this in my PC. It's over there, you can't see it, it's out of the frame. But this is running on a full PCIe slot, has a dummy plug and is running the development driver to give me the full Ethereum hash rate. I also have this Gigabyte 3060 that is for sure the LHR model that can't mine Ethereum at full hash rate. And this I have in the test bench right here. And what we're gonna do, and if I wanna do this for a while, is just size up these two GPUs on Ethereum first, of course, which we know how they do there. And then I wanna do Ravencoin, then I wanna do Ergo, just to see if this card is limiting anything that the original card could do. I'm very curious about it. So let me get the computer set up and we're gonna get going. All right, so I think for my own and your sanity for the rest of this video, I'm gonna refer to these cards as non-LHR, which is the EVGA here, and then LHR, which is the Gigabyte 3060 here. So the first thing we should do is talk about how to identify that before we get into any of the hash rates. And you can see on the screen here, I have GPU Z up. And the important thing that we're gonna look for if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, we're gonna look for device ID in GPU-Z. And you can see the 2504. That is your identifier to know that a 3060 is the LHR version. On the other side of your screen, on the right-hand side of your screen, you see the identifier being 2503. That means it's the original run of the 3060, the non-LHR version of the card. Anything that's new at this point, I have six 3060s that just came in. They are all the LHR version. But if you're looking used, there's just no way, at least that I found, to identify on the packaging or through the serial numbers if it's an LHR card or not. So this is a clear way, maybe the seller can send you a screenshot using GPU-Z to know if you're getting a not LHR card. And the reason there's no identifier in the packaging like there is for the LHR cards, uh, for the 3070s, 38s, all that stuff, is because these cards were always supposed to be LHR from the start. So NVIDIA and the board partners felt no responsibility to change anything on the packaging since it was always supposed to be that way and it was an accident, the development driver got leaked, et cetera, et cetera. You guys know the story. So what we're gonna do first is look at how they perform on Ethereum. So let's go ahead and check that out. So again, on the left side of your screen is the LHR, and on the right side of your screen is the non-LHR. And let's take a look at the clocks I'm running. These, the clocks I'm running are identical on both GPUs, and I'm running a lock core clock in T-Rex Miner of 1470. You can see it locked in MSI. I'm running a memory overclock of plus 1300 on both. So they are both running those same exact clocks. And so let's take a look first on the right-hand side of your screen at the non-LHR version of the 3060. You've had this running for a while. You can see it's doing about 48. It'll get up to 49 mega hash, running about 111 watts, which is great. That card I've been mining with, I've had that for months and months and months, and that's where it is 100% stable using those overclocks. Now, on the other side of your screen, on the left-hand side of your screen, we're looking at that Gigabyte 3060. Now, remember that LHR traditionally cuts in half what the GPU could do on Ethereum. So, if that EVGA is doing almost 50 mega hash, then we should be seeing about 25 mega hash stock coming out of this 3060. The reason we're not seeing that, the reason we're seeing around 33, 34 mega hash up on the screen, is because I'm using the latest T-Rex miner, that is able to give you on LHR cards about 70% of the hash rate that it should be able to do if it was fully unlocked. 
This T-Rex Miner just came out a little bit ago. The one thing I do want to call out, because you might be looking at this and saying, man, Mike, 99 watts, 34 mega hash, that's not too bad. At the wall, it's pulling a little bit more. So at the wall, I have a meter. It's pulling upwards to 126 mega uh, 26 watts and as low as 118 watts. So it's bouncing around as it fights the unlock. So the software is not accurate. Again, we're looking at 118 all the way up to 126 watts being pulled out of this GPU at the wall. So that's Ethereum, right? No surprise there. What I'd like to do and what I've wanted to do for a while is actually test Ravencoin and Ergo and see if those are impacted by the LHR in this GPU. So let me get Ravencoin set up and we'll be right back. All right, so we're on to Ravencoin. You can see the overclocks that I'm using on your screen. I am up that core, up to 275. The memory is at that same clock that I use for Ethereum, which is plus 1300. Uh, and in this case, I'm not using lock core clock. You absolutely can. I just, I'm not sure the best value for Ravencoin. So instead, I went the overclock route and I reduced my power limit all the way down to 60 and I have each card running identical here. And what you can see is that the short story is not impacted at all. Ravencoin is not impacted at all by the light hash rate limiter. You can see each GPU is doing around 17 up to 18 mega hash. And they're both clocking the same amount of wattage here, which in the miners around 101 watts, though I am, what's interesting, pulling a little more at the wall on the LHR 3060, but that is probably just because my server power supply is running really low load, and so there's some efficiency going on there. But you can see in the miner, which is what I would go by, they are both pulling just around the same mega hash, exact same wattage. So that is what they do on Kapow on Ravencoin. All right, so last up is Ergo, and this is probably the most interesting of the algorithms that we've tested so far, and I'm gonna show you why. So what you see happening right now in both miners is they are both mining Ergo, and they are both mining stock with a power limit. So I have them power limited down. You can see they're pulling around 100 watts, but I have no overclock or underclock on the core and nothing on the memory. And you can see when they size up next to each other, they're doing pretty much, you know, arguably the same amount of mega hash for the same amount of wattage per each GPU, whether it's the LHR one or the not LHR one. But the thing that's interesting with Ergo that I'm gonna show you in a second is when you put some overclocks on it. So what I'm gonna do is get the memory overclock back to where you would traditionally run it for these cards with Ethereum, which is plus 1300. So let me get that set up and I'm gonna show you the result of overclocking the memory on both these cards. All right, so check it out. I went up to plus 1300 on the memory on both of these cards. I didn't touch anything else. And what you can see on the right side of your screen is that the non-LHR GPU took that really well. It loved it. It went up to 123.5 mega hash for the same amount of wattage. What you're gonna see on the left side of your screen with the LHR GPU is it hated that. It did not like that memory overclock at all and it actually drastically reduced the mega hash as the LHR limiter kicked in for this graphics card and it brought me all the way down to 68 and 70 mega hash at that 100 watts, which is just awful when you see it compared to the non-LHR card. So actually what I found with the LHR one is that any type of memory overclock, even a plus 100 kicks in that limiter, mining ergo. So it's best to leave the memory overclock stock. And I found this with my 3070 Ti's as well to leave it stock so I can at least get up to that 104 mega hash, I think it was, that we were seeing before. So Ergo is a funny one, and I even ran T-Rex Miner with the LHR um, argument that works on Ethereum to give you 70% of the hash rate, but it does not work on the Autolycus algorithm that Ergo uses. So we're stuck getting about 104 mega hash when you run this GPU stock, and you can already see that mega hash going up and it'll go back up to what we were running in stock before. All right, so let's wrap this one up. So that's it, guys. That is how a non-LHR original run of 3060 compares to all the 3060s that you can probably get your hands on now. 
We looked at Ethereum, which is, we already know the story on that one, can get about 70% of the Ethereum hash rate using some of the new mining software that's out there. We looked at Ravencoin, which is 100% unaffected. They both got uh, the same hash rate on that, which is fantastic. And we also looked at Ergo in the end, seeing that it is impacted as soon as you overclock in MSI Afterburner or your overclock software of choice at 100% is impacted when mining Ergo. So it's best to just run it at stock. If you have specifically the LHR GPU and you're able to get any different results, please let me know in a comment in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Hit the notification bell so you know when I do live streams or post videos. Join my Discord if you want to chat. Link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.